Ripple's battle with SEC just got crazy. Hello guys and welcome to Bitcoin Breaking News. Let's take a look at how the crazy Ripple battle with SEC is going. It's good news for the XRP holders as the Ripple vs SEC battle is going exceedingly well, with the crypto giant recently scoring some wins in the courtroom. However, there's still more to come. Ripple uses XRP, the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market value, to facilitate cross-border transactions. The company owns a majority of the 100 billion XRP tokens in circulation, which it periodically releases from an escrow account to keep prices stable. The concept for Ripple was conceived in 2004, long before the concept of Bitcoin became mainstream. It wasn't until 2011 when Jed McCaleb started developing the XRP cryptocurrency using blockchain technology that Ripple became an actual entity. It was formally established in 2012. Ripple touts itself as a blockchain-based alternative to SWIFT, a global interbank messaging system that enables trillions of dollars in payments every day. The company sells its software to banks and fintech companies. It's a privately funded company with many well-known angel investors, including Andreessen Horowitz, Lightspeed Venture Partners, Google Ventures, and IDG Capital Partners. It's pertinent to note that these companies have invested in Ripple, the company, not necessarily XRP, the token. In December 2020, the SEC sued Ripple and its executives, Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO, and Chris Larson, executive chairman of Ripple's board of directors and former CEO and co-founder of Ripple, for alleged illegal sales of unregistered securities related to the XRP token. Ripple has disputed the SEC's findings, arguing XRP should be treated as a virtual currency rather than an investment contract like a stock. Ripple has an immense financial war chest to fund its legal defense and has given the SEC all it can handle in the ongoing back-and-forth battle. There have been some questionable developments in the proceedings. Empower Oversight, an organization that ironically attempts to be the checks and balances to help curb abuse of authority, reportedly released SEC emails tied to this case to the public. The contents of the emails could prove crucial if they show the SEC acted inconsistently by accusing Ripple Labs executives of securities violations for issuing the XRP token after ruling that rival cryptocurrency Ether was not a security. More than 200 emails between current and former SEC employees were released. It claims the emails prove these were conflicts of interest associated with how the SEC selected enforcement actions against digital asset companies, specifically the agency's decision not to view Ethereum the same as XRP. The emails which Empower Oversight received from a Freedom of Information Act request specifically relate to William Hinman. Hinman served as director of the SEC's Corporate Finance Division from May 2017 to December 2020. This SEC seems to be losing out in this battle. Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, said there's a lot at stake if his company does not win the lawsuit. This case is important not just for Ripple, it's important for the entire crypto industry in the United States, he said. It would really be negative for crypto in the United States. If Ripple loses, most tokens trading on platforms in the US would be deemed securities, meaning those platforms would have to register with the SEC as broker-dealers. If you determine XRP as a security of Ripple, we have to know every person that owns XRP, he said. That's an SEC requirement. You have to know all of your shareholders. It's not possible. When asked at the Paris Blockchain Week summit about the legal battle, he said, The lawsuit has gone exceedingly well and much better than I could have hoped when it began about 15 months ago. But the wheels of justice move slowly. While you might want to take Ripple's CEO's word for it, the XRP price could plummet in response to the SEC's win in a recent ruling by Judge Sarah Netburn. Ripple officials' motion to compel the production of Estabrook notes was denied by Judge Netburn, negatively affecting the holders' sentiments. The hysteria in the legal struggle became much more as a result of this. As it stands, SEC and Ripple are currently locked in a pound-for-pound -pound battle. Ripple scored a win in April of 2022 when the judge ruled that the SEC cannot edit the contents of emails purporting to show there were conflicts of interest regarding how the watchdog dealt with XRP and other tokens like Ether. This is according to XRP attorney James K. Fillon, who announced on Twitter that the judge has denied the SEC's motion to review or clarify contents from the emails and speech. 
The contents of the emails could prove crucial if they show the SEC acted inconsistently by accusing Ripple Labs executives of securities violations for issuing the XRP token after ruling that rival cryptocurrency Ether was not a security. It goes without saying that the contents of the emails will be fair game in the trial. Later in the same month, Judge Sarah Netburn denied Ripple's motion. This was a blow to Ripple's defense in the SEC's case against the payment giant. Investors are now holding back as a result of the change in sentiment. Since Estabrook notes can no longer be accessed, it is challenging to provide evidence of Ripple's executives' efforts to comply with the US securities law. The SEC cited privilege and refused access to the notes, landing a blow on the payment giant. Ripple won a legal battle to gain access to SEC deliberations on categorizing crypto assets and securities in April 2021. This news was followed by a 75% increase in 30 hours. When Ripple blocked the SEC from obtaining certain legal data on May 30, 2021, XRP soared 13%. In October 2021, Judge Sarah Netburn ruled in favor of Ripple Labs, causing the price of XRP to rise by 17%. Any hint of a Ripple victory in court appears to have caused the prices to rise. The court dispute is continuing to drag on. We're more interested in the outcome as it gets crazy. Despite its volatility, Ripple is expected to perform well. It has favorable predictions from 2022 to 2025 with more people wanting to own the XRP token. The success of XRP, on the other hand, is largely dependent on the conclusion of this bizarre court struggle. We, as observers, can only wait to see if the SEC backs down in this case, which appears to be establishing a very blatant conflict of interest claim for the defense. We can go as far as saying the future of cryptocurrencies depends on this lawsuit. How? If the SEC wins the case, XRP, the native cryptocurrency of the Ripple blockchain, will be considered a security rather than a currency in the US. As a result, this could set a legal precedent for other cryptos to be categorized as securities as well. As a result, the lawsuit against Ripple is critical for all crypto stakeholders, including investors, blockchain developers and policymakers around the world. If the SEC wins, it may numb the emotions of all crypto protagonists and lead to a decline in interest in crypto systems' technological growth. The final verdict in Ripple v. SEC is still pending, owing to the court's refusal to grant crucial motions from both Ripple and the SEC. Given the present deadlines, this matter will take at least another month to be resolved. However, as we've seen before, deadlines can change, and this saga could drag on far longer than anyone wants. That's all for today, guys. Kindly like and leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions. Turn on the notification bell for quick and important cryptocurrency updates such as this.